learn how to implement AdMob ads in your Android app. So we do it in a very simple way and then if you are a beginner, it will be very easy for you. So to begin, I have set up an Android Studio project and I have called it AdMob example. So this is just the main activity and it is empty as you can see. Now to implement the Android uh, AdMob SDK into your Android app, there are first a few things you need to know. One of the things is I'm going to we have to first set up your app in the Google AdMob dashboard and then there's also integrating ads in your app. So the first thing to do is to set up your app. Make sure that you already have a verified AdMob account and then come here on the sidebar apps and add app. Select the platform which is Android for our case and if the app is on a supported app store or not. For this case, the app is not yet on a supported app store. Click no, then continue, give it a name. I'm going to call it AdMob example. Then click add app. So that's how you add an app to the AdMob UI but starting from around late 2021 uh, you cannot show live AdMob ads in an app that is not already published on a supported app store for example here are the app stores that are supported let's see so Amazon App Store Oppo App Market Galaxy Store Vivo App Store Xiaomi Get Apps and mostly the google play so if your app is not yet published on these app stores you won't be able to show live ads in your admob app so let's say i have an app and it is already running on google play how do i add it here oh if i'm creating an app that is not already published on google play how do i go about it so this is how we go about it just create your app here and the same way of that i've have added this one and say it is not on a supported app store that's okay then develop your app and include everything as we are going to see then afterwards come here with the app settings and then click add then here you just paste your go play url and then the, ad, the live ads will start showing since you cannot get live ads in your app and when it is really not yet in the google play store what we do we use test ads for uh, seeing if our implementation is done correctly so i wanted to explain this to you so that you know why we are going to use test ads so moving forward what we are going to be using is only test ads and we are not going to look at live ads in this implementation guide but once your app is live on the google play or in any other supported app store as you have seen you will be able to show live ads the real ads in your app so to get started make sure you have a android studio project where you are going to implement the ads and then head over to google just open a new tab here and you can just search admob tutorial like this and then you open this first link uh, the get started guide from developers.google.com so we are going to work with this guide side by side with our project now scroll down through this app they are saying configure your app if you are using android studio i don't think here you have to do anything because these are already set up by android studio in its default settings when you create a project these ones are already included so come here on the dependencies, they're saying add the dependencies for the Google Mobile Ads SDK to your modules app level build.grad file. So copy this
then come to your project locate your find your app level build gradle file and then paste there your the, the dependency so i'm going to comment it as add mob and then what you, next you sync your project okay that's it next you have to yeah add the your admob app id to the metadata of your android manifest xml file so this is where testing comes in you see here they are saying sample admob app id and here they have given us an app id that you can use for testing so i will just click this pencil icon here i remove this and paste the add mob app id here come back here and paste it then after that copy the whole of this tag open your app manifest and before the closing of the application tag paste this metadata now once you have finished integrating the admob sdk into your app and you want to show real ads in the app make sure that you come here remove this app id and replace it with the app id that you get from your go to your apps select the app that you want to view then on the sidebar new app settings and then find your app id here is it and then you will have to replace your app id the uh, the test app id here in your manifest with this real app id here like this okay so for now we are going to continue with the test app uh the test id as this particular app we are working on is not on the any supported app store so the next thing is to initialize the sdk in our, our the activity where we want to load our ads so for this example the activity where i'm going to load the ads is the main activity as i don't have any other activity in this project but if you are working on a big app you may have uh, multiple activities or fragments so whenever you want to load an ad mob ad you have to initialize the sdk first so now let's initialize the sdk it's very simple just copy this code here for mobile ads dot initialize and up to here copy it paste it here then import these classes like that then here i'm going to make a space uh, inside the own initialization complete this is where we recommend loading the ads so that you don't load ads when the sdk is not yet initialized so this is all about initializing the, the admin sdk by doing this the, the sdk is initialized now what we look at next is how to implement the different ad formats in our project so next video will be about how to implement uh, admin banner ads in your android studio project